Welcome back, everybody. This is Lord Gearth again at Asmodea City. We appreciate you being here. Today, again, we are talking about the Foundry Virtual Tabletop. This time, we're going to talk about how to kind of preserve a game world that you have created. You've spent all this time, all this effort, putting in walls, putting in sounds, putting in lighting, doing all of these cool things, and now you want to run it for another group of adventurers. So how do we do that simply and easily without having to recreate everything? We're going to tell you how to do that right after this. Welcome back. Lord Gearth here again, talking again about the Foundry Virtual Tabletop. And before we start that, please do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and smash that bell so that you get notified of all these new videos that we're putting out. I've got a ton of stuff. And now, thank you. You guys are actually beginning to give me suggestions of things that you want me to do videos on. I will absolutely be getting to those. Also, you can join us now in our community Asmodea Discord server, and you can do that by just going to discord.asmodea.com and uh, join us, won't you, and get in there, talk to other players, uh, get information, ask questions. We're totally willing to support you in any way we can. So let's get started uh, on this project, which is how do we duplicate a game world? Now that we've got this cool game world that we've set up and we've spent all this time putting together, the last thing we want to do is run it for a group of people and basically uh, destroy it <laughs> and then have to go back and recreate a whole bunch of this uh, information once again. So it's it's actually super simple. You're you're going to be blown away. This is going to be less than a 10 minute video, if if that. So I'm here in my my server, one of my servers, and I'm going to go ahead and log in and you'll see I have all of these different uh, worlds that are set up already. And obviously, you can see I'm running multiple adventures of Dragons of Icepire Peak, uh, or it should be actually Dragon of Icepire Peak, but it got duplicated. So it, it is what it is. So each one of these has its own unique set of users, uh, and it's got some changes that have been made to it because of how the adventurer was running. Some of the loot has been taken. Uh, doors are open. Doors are closed. I, it, there's all sorts of things that are that are in here. So uh, what I want to do is is kind of initially. Once I set up, and I've done this by just this Dragon of Icepire Peak, Dragons of Icepire Peak main adventure. Once I've set that up, and I've got it, every all of it ready to go the way I want it to be, I then duplicate that into another directory so it's saved. And that way, all I have to do is add it back in, and voila, I've got a whole world built out that is pristine. Nothing's changed in it at all. So let me show you how we do that. It's actually very simple. So you can see the, the last uh, team two is the last adventure as of this recording uh, that we've got running in this particular adventure on this server. So if you come down to your Foundry tabletop icon in your tray, and of course I'm running Windows here, and you right click on it and select Browse User Data, and I'm going to minimize this a little bit. Uh, you've got this Browse User Data. You can see it, it opens up the user data directory for Foundry. And inside this data directory is a worlds directory. So we're going to double click that. And you're going to see that basically these all match up with these. It's it, it literally the same verbatim uh, listing as you can see here. So now what I'm going to do is, as we're recording this as of August in 2022, uh, I've got another group that's going to be coming in also playing this uh, particular adventure, and they're going to be Team 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right-click on this, and I'm going to copy it. And again, I'm running Windows 11, so if that looks a little odd to you or a little different to you, you might have to select copy as opposed to that little icon that's there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and right-click and paste it. All right, so now here we have our copy. And now it's important that we change this and that we remember it. We need to, to use it in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this 
uh, dash three, because I know that's going to be team three that's coming in uh, for this particular adventure here shortly. So I'm just going to save that. And oh, I should actually, I want to copy that. So I'm going to, I'm going to copy this name. So we've got it. Now I'm going to go into this directory and you'll see that there's this world.json file. This is the configuration file that controls everything about this particular world as far as, as Foundry is concerned. So I'm going to just open this with Notepad. Now you got to be careful here because this is a very carefully formatted JSON file. And for those of you that are not programmers, if you miss a comma in some of these areas or a colon, it, the entire thing breaks down. So it's it's a mess. So you do have to be a little bit careful about this. But if you'll notice, the name up here is the directory. So I'm just going to highlight this. I'm going to highlight the whole thing. And then I'm going to paste in the new name that we have. Now, this title here is the title that you see over here. So what you want to do is change this. And I'm just going to change this to Team 3. And it could be, I mean, you could leave it if you really wanted to. You don't have to change it if you don't want to. But in order for you to easily be able to tell which world is which when you go to try to run it, it's better to change that title. So those are the only two things that you need to change in this file. So I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to close that. And I'm going to close this. And we're going to go back to our server. But this time I'm going to close it. I'm going to just close it out. And then I'm going to reopen it. And of course, it's going to open on my other screen. <laughs> and let's log in, shall we? And voila, we have this Dragons of Ice Spire Peak Asmodea Team 3. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and run this just so you know it, it's running fine. I can get in as the, the game master. I have my buddy Captain G in there, who's uh, one of my fav players. And here we are. We are now in the Fandolin City, ready and willing to go. So that's it, guys. It's that simple. It's it's really not tough. Uh, and if, if you have spent a ton of time building out some of these things like I have, like something really cool here, and I'm going to do a video on this in a second, you'll notice I have all these lights that are sitting here, but they're hidden during the day. And if I make it nighttime, and let me go back here so it's easier to see, and you see it starts to fade out, and then whoop, all the lights come on. So really cool, huh? Some some neat stuff that you can just kind of add some spice to your your maps and just make them look all that much cooler. Anyway, I'll I'll link to that other video once I get that set up. I'll I'll do that. I'm I'm getting ready to make that video as a matter of fact, probably today sometime. At any rate, thank you again, folks. Again, it, it's always a pleasure to help everybody out. And if you have any questions, jump into our Discord server. Uh, discord.asmodia.com ha happy to answer any questions for you and also as always hit that subscribe button smash that like button and hit that bell so that you can be notified of all these cool new videos that we got coming up and as always as you're adventuring be careful be safe and be kind peace